All right, up until now, we have learned about strings, numbers, arrays, booleans, and there's a few more that we're going to learn down the road. But for now, I would like to explain a particular function that I've been using to show you if something is a boolean or a string or an array or a number. Now behind all of these, these different types of variables is a thing called a data type, or in some languages, a data structure. So let's go ahead and look at a few of these. So let's create var age is equal to 30. Okay, we know that this is a number, but what does JavaScript think it is? Does it think it's a string, a number, anything like that? Uh, let's create another one in here. Var name is equal to JavaScript for beginners. What does JavaScript think this variable is? Var, you know, we did this one already. Is cat true or false? And let's create one more. Var cars is equal to Volkswagen, Lambo, and Audi. Audio? Audi. <laughs> Something like that. Let's, uh, yeah, let's put that all in one line again. And so when we refresh our page, we're not going to see anything happen. We've declared a bunch of variables, but we're not doing anything with them. Let's go ahead and console log each one. So console.log age is. And in here, we're going to use a function called type of. And it's just simply going to say age is and then what it actually is. So let's go ahead and save this and we're going to see age is a number. That's the variable type or the data type. Let's go ahead and create another one in here. Say the name is, the name of this course is, whatever that's going to be, is cat is going to be, do, 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 is cat. And lastly, we have cars is da, 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 cars. Okay, so before I refresh my page, actually I'm gonna make some space here so that this actually looks somewhat legible. We know that age is a number. JavaScript told us it's a number. What do you think name is? And what do you think cat is? And what do you think cars is? We have at some point gone through all of these, but we haven't actually fully explored their data types. I mean, we sort of have in a sense, but not completely. So if I hit refresh on this page, I'll save this and hit refresh. We're going to see that age is a number, name is a string, is cat is a Boolean and cars is an array. So age is a number, name is a string, is cat is a Boolean, cars is, oh, what's this? It's not an array? Hmm, well, that's interesting. Even though we told it to be an array, it's actually this thing called an object. And interestingly enough, even if we do this, do, 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 let's go ahead and change this to the word array. We're going to see that this does not change. I hit refresh and it still says cars is an object. What is with that? Well, in JavaScript and in many other languages, object oriented programming languages, we have this idea of an object and an object really is just a data structure that allows you to have several components in it. Whereas an age, or in this case, a number is just a number. You can't really do too much with that. You can't turn it to uppercase or lowercase. You can't pop it. So you can't get rid of, you know, the last item because there's only one item in here. It's not even a list or an array. We can't really do anything with that. We can't add too many custom functions to it. It's just a number. Whereas with the variable called cars, it's an object and we can actually do a lot more with objects. So let's go ahead and take a look at this real quick. Cars dot and all I have to do, and you can see that it says concat array here, is hit dot and then just scroll down and you can see all these different things that I can perform on this particular type of object. Now we're going to get into objects much more in depth down the road. So you don't have to worry about knowing the difference between an array and an object right now. Because yeah, we'll totally cover that in this course. But the thing that I did want to make you aware of is different data types using the function type of, we could type cars and it gives us an object. Now, why is this important? Well, let's take a look at the difference between one particular property. So if we did age.length, well, we don't have age.length. That's because it's a number. There is no length to a number. Well, I mean, in human terms there is, but to a computer, there is not. It just says, oh, it's a number. I mean, what do you want from me? The number is the number. 
And so numbers are pretty basic. If we said name.length, we know that this is a string. If we did name.length, we know that this one is, in particular, a string, so it's going to count the number of characters in it. So J-A-V-A-S-C-R-I-P-T space for space B-E-G-I-N-N-E-R-S. 22 characters. Now what if we did is cat dot length undefined? It doesn't even have a property called length. Same thing with numbers. It doesn't have a property called length. We can't use that. But with cars, because it's an object, or as we currently know it as an array, we can do dot length, and this will return three. Where this gets important to know is if I did that wrong, if we did, if we did cars.length, we're going to get three as the total number of cars. We've got Volkswagen, Lambo, and Audi. But if we did name.length, ignore the one that I messed up there with the typo, uh, if we did name.length, we're going to get the total number of characters. And so that's very different. And so if you try to do dot length on a string versus dot length on an array, you're going to get different answers. And that might change your logic down the road. You might say, if the array has five names in it, do something. But if your logic says, if variable dot length is equal to five, and someone just types in a word with five letters in it, that's also going to trigger. And so that's sort of the difference between data types is, you know, some of them have certain functions or properties on them that we can use and some of them don't. And so you will inevitably run into this down the road where you're like, oh, dot length on name is 22, but dot length on cars is three. Why is that? Because when I count cars, there's two plus five is seven plus four is 11. So you'd think that would turn return 11, but no, it doesn't. It returns three because there's three items in there. Now, you're not going to need this right away, but it is very good to know. And I have been every now and then showing you the function called type of just to show you what this is. So if you're ever concerned about what a particular variable is or what the data type is, you can always just use the function type of, put your variable name in there with parentheses around it, and it just looks like that. And it will tell you, oh, I'm a Boolean. Oh, I'm an object. Oh, I'm a number. So there's nothing you have to do with this particular lesson. I just wanted to show you this just so that you are aware because you will run into this issue down the road and I just wanted you to be prepared for that.